Hello everyone, welcome to SideQuest. This is my first video, and uh, it's actually a callback to my old YouTube channel from when I was a kid, when I used to open Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, and that was, that was my whole YouTube channel when I was younger. That was under Sly Boogie, which will be linked there, but the whole point of this channel is to just be a haven for my hobbies. I kind of don't have any one niche that falls into this or that. So this is SideQuest Studio, and I saw this today at the store. I had my eyes on it online for a while, but um, figured, you know what, that's a good way to start, where it all began in the first place. Under here, this is the Tolarian Community College playmat. If you're a Magic the Gathering fan, you may recognize it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go for it. Pretty excited. Um, I like how they did a separate rarity for the six cards in front. I actually had the original Legendary Collection that was the folder back in the day. And I thought it'd just be really cool to go back and open original packs. Stuff that, you know, from the Origins. So right off the bat... Obelisk the Tormentor. I'll go ahead and move this. And you get the original six, which I think it actually went that way, if I'm not mistaken. Dark Crisis may have been after, but I don't remember exactly. We'll go ahead and start with the promo pack. Now these should be the same as they were in previous years, aside from one of them. So there's Obelisk, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and okay, so it's the newer styling where the foiling is on the uh, attribute up there, and then all the stars are foil, so that's cool. It is a little bit different than the old school ones then. My least favorite arts of these guys. I kind of was hoping that they would change the arts for these tablet designs, but still not bad. I do like this red eyes, though. Red eyes is cool. And our other one is Dark Magician. So this is the special 25th anniversary quarter century foiling. And it's got this very cool grid, um, kind of like the old... Prismatic rares. I do like it. That looks nice. You know what's funny is I'm not a big fan of the um, tablet design going on. I think maybe it's just it's been used a lot. But the fact that these bars are behind him, he's kind of floating off the card, does make it look rather nice. I do like that. Okay. We'll go ahead and do these. Order release. Um, I've been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! forever. I've stopped, though, in recent years, so coming back and seeing this is super nostalgic. And they are labeled 25th anniversary, so might be a little bit of difference going on with the packs. We'll see. Maybe they boosted the pull rates. Who knows? All right, so I have no idea where the rares are, so we're just going to go through. See all these classic cards. Good old monster egg. There's an iconic Hitotsumi giant and dragon capture jar. So it doesn't look like, oh, that's it. We don't get a foil in every pack, so they did not change the uh, pull rate like in the modern times. Dragon capture jar, though, is a uh, classic. That's a, to get a rare, that's a nice one. Pretty fun. I remember this guy, kid on uh, in fourth grade. He just loved this one. It's pretty funny. Metal Raiders. Imagine if we just pulled a black skull dragon. Oh, Niwatori. I actually forgot about this little fat chicken. Stim Pack. Blue Winged Crown. Witch of the Black Forest. Oh, we did get a shiny. So they are different. You just don't get a foil in every pack, but... 
check that out. Garnesia elephantis and Witch of the Black Forest, which probably still banned? I haven't looked at the ban list in forever. I know it changed a bit, but... Baby Dragon. Lady of Faith. Cybersaurus and Rainbow Flower. I actually had this card when I was a kid. It wasn't it wasn't too bad <laughs> if you uh you know didn't have access to multiple dark magicians or blue eyes. Spell ruler. Yeah, I actually was playing when this was called Magic Ruler, and there was the whole controversy about it being magic and they had to change the actual licensing name because they were breaking trademark allegedly and lost the case. Hamburger recipe. Love it. Amoeba. House of Adhesive Tape. I always thought this was like one of the weirdest cards because the way it labels out, it's like, I, I always thought it was like sticky tape and but adhesive tape. Something about it just always was funky to me. So Molten Destruction. Oddly enough, I don't think I've ever seen this card. That's kind of funny. Huh. This one I've seen a ton, Kododama. I I remember <laughs> this one used to annoy me because I got it in just about every single spell ruler pack that I ever bought. And it's like, seriously? And this thing just kind of became like a... I, I, I always had terrible luck with spell ruler growing up. And uh, that didn't change. <laughs> Pharaoh's Servant. This one I liked a lot growing up. I believe this is where Jinzo was originally from. All right. If the slot machine too would be neat. Gradius. Burning land. Time seal. Oh, we got some sort of one. What do we get? Beast of Talwar. And then Dimension Hole was the rare. Oh, okay. So it is an Archfiend. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Not bad. 2,400, 21. It's, you know, it's not Summon Skull, but it, uh, it's right up there. Right up the alley. That's pretty cool. Numinous Healer. Skull Mariner. I, I always liked this card. One of my favorites back in the day. Just the art. I know it's kind of, you know... Looking at looking back now, especially after playing Magic for so many years, the art in Yu-Gi-Oh is a bit more kind of novicey. It has a charm to it, though. I like it. It kind of has that um, high schooler art book feel to it. Dark Crisis. This was one as a kid that I just never got anything out of it. Can't get it open. Here we go. It's kind of funny seeing the way that they're cut. Man, that is. There we go. Rod of Mind's Eye. I love the art on this guy. It's just really cool. I always was a big fan of Fiends. Gaga Gigo. And then there's Go Gaga Gigo. <laughs> Tsukiyomi. That was a good art style. Oh, we got a Dark Scorpion. Chick the Yellow. Arsenal Robber. Gyuku Gira Panda. And Altar for Tribute. And, last but not least, Invasion of Chaos. This, when I was a kid, I had a first edition Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. And it was like the most magical moment. <laughs> we, uh, it was at a gas station and... I had saved up money from doing, you know, random things like raking yards and whatnot. So I had, you know, enough to buy a pack here and there. And uh, so I got one pack of Invasion of Chaos at a gas station when we were on a road trip and got the Blackluster Soldier. <laughs> I doubt we're going to get something crazy like that here, but that would just be... Just magic icing <laughs> on the cake to get something crazy out of Invasion of Chaos, which, as a kid, was my most successful pack pull, I think. 
Still my favorite card to this day. I love the Blackluster Soldier. All right, Silpede. Ojama Black. I played the Ojamas back in the day. Chaos Sorcerer, very good common. Really awesome. Zero Gravity. Berserk Gorilla. Oh my god! god. Oh my god! It's Chaos Emperor Dragon, Seeker Rare. We, we did it! We actually had an epic pull in Invasion of Chaos. Dude, that's so sick. Holy crap. Oh, it's so shiny. Yellow Luster Shield, Chaos Necromancer, and so but oh my god. That's so cool. I can't believe I just pulled that. <laughs> All those years ago, I pulled Envoy the Beginning, and here we are, Envoy the End. Wow. Man, that just looks so good. Wow. This is, I'm really, this is exciting, guys. That's like, oh man, I, Invasion of Chaos is like, it holds a special place in my heart, man. And freaking dude, that's, that is just epic. Oh man. Well, that's, that's a fun start to the channel, guys. You know, that's, uh, this is, like I said, Side Quest Studio. It's just going to be whatever I feel like, really. There's there's not going to be any rhyme or reason to the content here. There's just going to be either, you know, maybe more Yu-Gi-Oh! someday, uh, Magic the Gathering stuff, gaming, crafting, woodworking, outdoorsy stuff. It's the side quests of life. And, uh, oh man, what a fun way to start this. Just kind of a you know, blast from the past. I, when I, you know, saw this was coming out, I just knew I had to get one at least just to get that nostalgic feel of opening classic Yu-Gi-Oh again. And man, was that awesome. We got Chaos Emperor Dragon. Oh. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, comment. It's first video, guys. So um, all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed. My name's Connor. I'll catch you later.